Hey everyone, welcome to another Bodark vlog. In this video we will be spending time in Asakusa and Sumida City Ward where we will explore Sensoji Temple and Tokyo Skytree. This is followed by a night of shopping in the Ginza District and finally spending a day at Hakone, a small town overlooking Mount Fuji. So sit back, relax, and enjoy what you're about to see. Our first destination of the day is in Soji Temple. We take the Asakusa line all the way to the temple grounds which is already full of people. This is because today is Hagoite Ichi, which is the festival of good luck charms, so definitely the temple will be full of people participating in the festivities. It was a little bit crowded and slightly chaotic making our way towards the temple. There were so many people either shopping for good luck charms, snacks, and souvenirs. Some people were even wearing kimonos. Fun fact, you can actually rent a kimono in Japan, especially Asakusa where there are many many rental shops where people can stylize their kimono. On the way to the temple, I did do a little snacking since my mom brought me a rice cracker at one of the shops. The cracker was super crunchy and very savory. Nothing better to have than a small crispy treat to keep me going to the temple. Just hear me chomp on this thing for a little Bodark ASMR. We also get some Ningyo Yaki, which are small sweet cakes filled with red bean paste. They are very delicious, soft and warm, which is definitely great as they came fresh and hot from the shops selling them. Finally, we make it to the temple, where we spend some time checking out good luck charms or taking pictures. I did walk around and saw some people reading fortunes through Omikuji, where people shake a box full of sticks. The sticks have a number which the person then opens a drawer with the same number to read their fortune. I did attempt to get an Omikuji and didn't have the best of luck getting a good one. But no worries, if a person gets a bad fortune, they can simply tie it up symbolizing that they are leaving that fortune behind in the hopes of getting a better one. After exploring the temple, we spend a little time shopping for souvenirs before heading off to our next destination, Tokyo Skytree. Tokyo Skytree was also very crowded once we arrived. A lot of people came here to either shop or go up to the top of Skytree to get an amazing view of Tokyo. There was even a Christmas fair going on outside the shopping area of Skytree with a lot of people getting in the mood for the holiday spirit. We were unable to go up to the top which is a bit unfortunate but there was still a lot of fun stuff to do in the shopping area. We bought more souvenirs and a frozen treat, Mach ice cream. As you can tell from the second picture of ice cream, it doesn't look exactly like matcha. This is actually hojicha or roasted green tea. It's got a very toasty and stronger taste than matcha ice cream, but very refreshing and delicious, even on a cold day. After spending time at Skytree, we head over to our last destination of the day in Ginza. Ginza is a shopping district in Tokyo known for having many different stores that sell some of today's trendiest brands, especially in Chiodori. One store that is a must visit in Ginza is Uniqlo. And while Uniqlo is very common in Japan, this one here in Ginza is their flagship store, standing at 12 floors high. We spend the evening here checking out some clothes and making a few purchases before calling it a day. And what better way to end an amazing day of shopping and sightseeing than a nice bowl of ramen. After returning to a hotel to freshen up a little bit, we go to a little ramen shop nearby to have some hot tonkatsu ramen, which is something we all really needed after spending the entire day exploring the cold streets of Tokyo.
It is day 4 in Tokyo, Japan, and today we are taking the Odawara Odakyu line to Odawara where we will make a transfer to the Hakone Tozan line. From there we will be heading to Hakone Ropeway. The train ride on the Odawara Odakyu line was a bit crowded when we boarded, and very quiet as well. But as we got closer to the Odawara, many passengers started departing the train, so it got a little easier to record the ride. We arrive in Odawara and take another train to Hakone Yumato Station, where we board the Hakone Tozan train shortly afterwards. The views from the train were very beautiful as we passed by the forested mountainous regions of Hakone. Although I did get a little bit of motion sickness as the train kept going back and forth. Our train makes the final stop at Gora Station where we board a cable car that takes us up to Sunzun Station. We take a few pictures and admire the amazing view of Hakone before boarding the Hakone Ropeway to Owakudani Station. As the ropeway car ascended above the sulfuric springs of Owakudani, you will not believe what me and my family see. Okudani was a whole valley of sulfuric springs. It was a sight to behold. Seeing the steam gush out of the sulfur refineries made the valley look like it was straight out of a dinosaur movie. We spend a little time in Owakudani taking a lot of pictures near the sulfuric springs and getting a small snack, Owakudani black eggs. They're called black eggs because the water they've been boiled in contain iron and sulfur, giving the exterior eggshell a black color. They're pretty tasty. After spending time at Owakudani, we take another ropeway car that descends down the valley, giving us a spectacular view of Mount Fuji and Lake Ashi. Once we reach the bottom of the valley into Togodai Station, we board a ship which takes us across the lake to Hakone Machiko. We disembark from the ship where we walk around the town towards the Hakone Jinja Shrine, which is one of the most well-known landmarks in Hakone, especially for its Tori Gate standing at the lake's edge. We were unable to get too close to it though as there were too many people waiting in line to get a picture. Despite the long line, I still got some good pictures of the Tori Gate from a distance. After spending time at Jinja Shrine, a bus takes us to Amasake Chaya, a tea house nearby the town which serves a unique drink called Amasake. 
The tea house had a very warm and cozy atmosphere, and the amasake really accommodated for it. The amasake, a hot, non-alcoholic sweet drink accompanied by some mochi, made me feel all warmed up, which is what I really needed after spending time in the cold temperatures of Hakone. Fun fact, this tea shop has been standing here for more than 300 years and served as a rest stop for travelers who traversed all the way to Hakone. After spending an amazing day in Hakone, we returned to Shinjuku Station to have dinner. What I have here is Ochizuke, a unique rice dish topped with different toppings such as this one, which has fish eggs, sashimi, and shrimp. Basically take some portions of the rice and the toppings, add hot dashi broth into it, and mix. This was a very unique dish me and my family enjoyed a lot. What a great way to end an amazing day. Well that's all for today's vlog. Tune in next time as I spend my last day in Tokyo at the Metropolitan Government Building and the Meiji Shrine. Then me and my family return to Kyoto, riding on one of the world's greatest high-speed trains to exist, the Shinkansen. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you have some time, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more amazing content. I try my best to upload whenever I can, and I appreciate any support along the way. This is Bodark signing off. Have a good day.